All right, so everyone watching us on YouTube saw Frank just lip singing our intro. That was fun. That was a treat for you guys. Yeah, you are welcome, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right, welcome to Sultans of Swing. Tim Stokel here with Frank Shallow. Uh, How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? <laughs> Nick right. Foles, yeah. Pro Bowl MVP. Anyone who's not aware of what we were doing there, we just sound like idiots otherwise. <laughs> Had to explain it. All right, um, wrapping up our MLB season preview today with the Western Divisions. Yes. We'll also give you our World Series picks. Before we do that, we got some business to take care of. Yes, we do. Yes. I'll, I'll do it. Okay, all right. All, all right. right, so the Souls of Swing Fantasy Draft is tonight. Tonight at 8. Once again, Eastern shout time. to Red Label for the uh, giving us prizes. Giving us $150 worth of merchandise. Use as prizes for the uh, draft. Which yeah, is really Rawlings cool. Red Label. Check them out. Yeah. Uh, Twitter's at RedLabelACC, and the website's RedLabelACC.com. Um, another thing, the Trenton Thunder have donated us four tickets to any home game this year. Yes. So we'll be giving that away. We'll put a YouTube video up, and we'll announce that on Twitter about how we're going to go about giving it away. We'll have some kind of contest. Yeah, and uh, the it's a gift certificate worth redeemable for four tickets. So you can't really like split them up, right? It's, yeah, it's so four tickets to the same game, right? So two people are going to be able to come be our designated driver <laughs> when Frank and I go to the game. So have fun with that. So if you're 21 and you like to drink, you can't come. We're looking for uh, 18, 18, to 20 18 to 20 is perfect with a valid driver's license, <laughs> and we're going to be going. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good to me. <laughs> no, no, but if seriously, you, you get all four tickets if you want to bring us, then that's fine. <laughs> um. I interned with the Trenton Thunder summer of 2013. I was a front office intern. And I'll tell you, those games are awesome. A lot of fun. We got a Thunder hat in the background over here. There, Frank's grabbing it now. Um, that's for my internship. I actually played on the Thunder field in high school one time. Really? Yeah, I played a championship game there. Yeah, I, I worked one of the... They, there was a high school game there. I worked it. There was a brawl afterwards, so that was fun. That wasn't me. That was fun. <laughs> no, you weren't in high school. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. So I mean, the games are fun. You know, if you you got kids, bring your kids. They, they have uh, golden retrievers who get the bats instead of bat boys. Uh, Derby and, and rookie are the dogs now. Chase passed away this summer. I was there. Have his bobblehead back in the background as well. Thunder games, they're awesome. Stuff between every inning to keep you keep you entertained. Just yeah, great time. for kids. Yeah. Oh yeah. Minor league baseball. It's all about affordable family fun. Right. That's that's what it's all about. All right and. Drum roll, please, Tim. We had a uh, giveaway once we got to 100 followers on Twitter. Yeah, we're at, what are we at now? Uh, 130, maybe? We are at 136 followers. Very nice. Which is, you know, we're which is good. We're trying to get to 100. And Go ahead. So once we got to 100, we're doing a giveaway. Uh, you can get a jersey of your choice. Yes, yeah, so any team, any player. Be randomly selected with some random website that we found. That yeah. Some of your... Uh, Picks from your followers. It just randomly generates one follower. Um, first one that came up was was Davis Knapp. His Twitter is at d Napinator. Napinator. D K N A P P I T A T O R. So congratulations. Yeah, we'll Davis we'll Knapp. tweet this out after the show. Send yes. him a message. See what he wants to. See what he wants us to send him. And we will get that jersey out to him. Apparently, he's a baseball player. So nothing wrong with that. Yeah. We made a good choice. Or the website made a good choice. Yeah, All right. All right. Yeah, we ready? It. I'm ready. All right. Let's start in the American League like we always do. Ladies first. DH rule. Don't give me that to me. <laughs> All right. So, I like... What do you want? We'll do the... A, it's the West, right? AL West. AL West. I like the Angels to win the AL West this year. Okay. Um, Angels over under this year. I'm just going to do that right away. Yeah, we've been doing the over under that Vegas is given for the wins. 88 and a half. I like them. I like them more around 94, 95 wins. Right. I think they're capable. They won 98 last year. I think I like them right around 95 wins. The Angels. I mean, and you have them winning the division. Yeah. I like their offense a lot. Um, I mean, can't go wrong with Trout. You have the best player in baseball. I mean. They're going to be good again. Yeah. Um, they won 98 games last year, like I said. What was the over under? 90? 88 and a half. 88 and a half. I have them at 90. Yeah, I have them around 95. 88 and a half just sounds low, doesn't it? 
Well, it for, does. It does for a team that won 98 games. But the thing with the Angels that I don't like is I don't trust their pitching. I, I'm not so sure Jared Weaver is the top of the rotation guy anymore. Garrett Richards is coming out of off of an injury. C.J. Wilson has been just god awful. No, he's been horrible. Um, it's like when pitchers leave Texas, it's over. Yeah. See, he is not. He signed a big deal to go there, and he has not been the same. Their bullpen is great. Their offense is not going to be as good as last year. No, it's not. No, it won't be as good, but they they're still I mean, good. Cal Gill and Calhoun are their corner outfielders. Cal Gill's not bad. I think Calhoun's better. Well, but. The guy in center field makes up for <laughs> your uh, yeah. loss there. Mike Trout is yeah. unbelievable. I, like I said, I have the Angels winning 90 games. Uh, and I have them as a wild card team. So, the first wild card. So they would host the wild card game, in my opinion. So it's almost kind of obvious who you have winning the West right. now. I think it, it's a toss-up between these two teams, and that's it. Yeah. For the division. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. I have the Seattle Mariners winning the division. They won 87 last year. Over under, 86 and a half. Obviously, over. I think that's over, too. I would go around 90. I have 93. See, I, see you're higher. We're just flip-flop, pretty much. We like yeah, we, the teams we the each, same. Just yeah, we each like have Mariners different favorite like. team. Um, see, here's the thing with the Mariners. They won those games last year with, behind great pitching and no offense. Mm -hmm. They added the major league leader in home runs in Nelson Cruz, who's going to play DH. They have a bunch of guys who I think have the potential to have monster years. It, you know, Mike Zanino, um, Dustin Ackley, Austin Jackson. I think those are guys who have a lot of potential to have really good years. And even if they have years that, like, consistent years of like what they've been having, I think that's good enough to get them to win the division Did behind you say Felix Cruz? Hernandez. What? Did they have Nelson Cruz? Yeah. Yeah, did you say it? I think it was the first thing I said. Oh, I missed that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Uh, I was too busy writing something down. Felix Hernandez, Sasashi Wakuma. I think James Paxson's going to have a good year. Taiwan Walker, we'll see what he's made of. Yeah. And he, a great well, bullpen. He just got the fifth spot, right? Yeah. It was pretty it was, obvious. Yeah. But. And, and Jay, Jay Happ, former Philly great. Oh, yeah. Not a bad pitcher. I mean, he's a solid. I guess you could say. So you have the Mariners as a wild card? I do have the Mariners. So okay. And uh, last week, we did, we've did. we done the East, we've done the Central. And last week, Frank has Frank has failed to choose his two wildcard teams heading into today. Which means he has two wildcard teams coming from the AL West, which I think is absurd. So I'm going to give you one chance, last chance, to change that. No, Go pick happen. someone from another division. No. You know, pick the Orioles, pick no. the, uh, no. the Tribe, no. the... Blue Jays, the White Sox. No, no, you're not. You're not no, doing. I'm, doing anything. I'm sticking with my guns. And your guns are. My wild card teams are the Mariners and the Oakland Athletics. <laughs> what? <laughs> the, the A's are the A's. Okay, what's wrong with the A's? All right, they were best team in baseball the first half of last season, right? Yep. Awesome, awesome first half. Collapsed completely in the second half. Only reason they made the playoffs by one game over the Mariners is because they got off to such a big lead, but they were, the second half was terrible. So what do they do in the off season? They lose their five best offensive players, four best offensive players. Josh Donaldson, you want to assess who this was going to trade deadline, but that's when they started to they tank. Yeah. Uh, Derek Norris, Brandon Moss, all gone, along with Jed Lowry, who, you know, that's just another name that they lost. He's not right. that great, but, you know, someone else they lost. Um, they don't bring back Samarja or Lester. Who were on the well, team when they knew, when they tanked? So Samar it's not they didn't they trade they traded Samarja, right? They right. didn't bring Lester back. They didn't bring Lester back. You knew he wasn't, going and they didn't back hold on to Samarja because it was between Boston and Chicago, and I don't know if it was Boston. Yeah. I think it was just Chicago the whole time. So they lose their offense, and they replace it with Billy Butler, Ike Davis, Ben Zobrist, who I like Zobrist a lot, uh, Marcus Semyon, young guys go play shortstop, Brett Lawry. Sam Foles playing center. Stephen Boats catching. That's Josh Reddick and Coco Crisp. Yeah, I left I yeah, they're there. They were there last year. I, I know, that's I'm why just, I didn't I'm just yeah. rounding out the lineup. Sure. Because they're gonna win the wild card. But there's something about the A's that every single year, even if they have a lineup like this, find a way to compete and are good. Recently. It's true, but the lineup hasn't been like this. It hasn't been this bad. It's been better. They had 
Moss. They had Cespedes. They had Donaldson. But Moss, what, Moss came out of nowhere. Moss's guy, the true. lineup would have been that bad if he was in it. You would have been saying the same thing. Ike Davis, Ben Zobris. I like Josh Reddick. And I like Reddick, but... Brett Lowry's not bad at third either. Well... Laurie's not Donaldson. He's not anywhere near Donaldson. No, but they traded him for a reason. Yeah, and He's not going to put up the Brandon power Moss numbers. didn't come out of nowhere. He had thirty home. He had twenty-one home runs in two thousand twelve. Thirty in two thousand thirteen. Twenty-five last year. He was always and a power he guy. Before that, that's not the. You can't say someone came out of nowhere and they've had three good years. But I'm saying at the beginning, you would have said that they would have been the beginning of their. Run, quote yeah, unquote. Yeah, I'm not saying run. years after him hitting 25 home runs. Yeah, okay. I'm All just right. saying when the lineup was that bad, you would have been saying I know what you're saying, thing. but who on this team do you think can turn into a Brandon Moss? Power wise, no one. Right. But Ike Davis could possibly have a good year. He's due to have a good year. Yeah, he was supposed to be a lot better than he turned out to be. He's horrible. <laughs> oh, yes, he is horrible. He was horrible. God, Tim. <laughs> Why are you hating on me so much today? Because, because you had I gave you chances to pick a and real, like the A's, a real like wild the card team. The A's are not right, well, going to make the playoffs. I what's the me September thirty first when my Reds are in and your A's are out. <laughs> oh my god! What's the A's over under? Seventy five and a half. What? No, wrong. Sorry, A's <laughs> one and a half. I read Astros. Okay, I have them winning seventy seven games. No, the A's will be right around 85 wins. Nah. I I have them winning 77 games. I think they're, so this, I think they're a sub-500 team. Think I'm stupid for this, just like I think you're stupid for liking the Reds. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we each have a little one pick that's kind of out there. I think the majority of baseball people would probably side with you, to, just based on what I've seen. Right. As far as expert predictions, quote-unquote experts. Right. Um, I just don't think they're giving them enough their lineup enough credit. It, but it's not just the lineup; it's the rotation too. Sonny Gray is great. I love Sonny Gray, one of my favorite pitchers in baseball. Scott Casimir, Jesse Hahn, Kendall Graveman, Drew Pomeran, Jesse Chavez. Don't forget though, Tyler Clifford. That's an upgrade in the bullpen. Sure, but I'm just saying. Yeah, it absolutely is. Their bullpen's good. The bullpen's when when Doolittle gets back, Oh Flaherty is always good. He's a pretty consistent guy. Yeah, I like him a lot. All right, so um, after you go, obviously I'm going with the Angels. I like the Marlins, then the A's. Mariners. Or Mariners, then the A's. I do like the Marlins. I, yeah, I have Mariners, Angels, A's. But I have the Astros right behind the A's. You like the Astros? I, by right behind, I mean like three games back. And the thing with the Astros, I think I love the power in their lineup. I oh, know they do. Carter, Singleton, Gaddis. Carter, Singleton, Gaddis, Springer. He's got some pop. Um, they had Jed Lowry from from the A's. Right. Not a power guy. Another bat though. Altuve, obviously best Great. pure hitter in baseball. Oh my gosh, he's insane. Um, Jason Castro is a decent catcher, but they're going to score runs. They're pitching Keuchel and Feldman and McHugh at the top. Eh, decent Could arms. Be better. Yeah, they, they bolstered that bullpen with Meshack and Luke Gregerson in the offseason. I think their time's coming. Like I said with the Twins, I think the Astros' time's coming sooner than the Twins. Than the twins. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, Carlos Correa coming up in the minors. What is, he's a stud. He is. So the Astros' time is coming. What's yeah. their over-under? What, 75, you said, 75 and a half. I like a little bit over. I'm going to go like 77 wins, something right around there. I had 74. With four more wins than last year, yeah. But it, it wouldn't surprise me if they end up around around five hundred, honestly. Yeah, I can see that. And then the Rangers, who just I, can't I catch a break, man. I just think they're going to be You Darvish out for the year, they can't catch a break. No, set a they're record for most injured. DL time last, last year. Last year was insane, but it was unbelievable. They are. Uh, and now I don't even, think they're going to be good at all. I like their lineup. I think Shinsu Chu is going to bounce back. He's my boy, an OBP guy. He knows yeah, how much I know. how much I love them. Prince Fielder. Finally get to see him. Hopefully. In a Rangers uniform, hopefully. Uh, but, you know, Beltre is obviously always consistent. I feel bad for Rangers fans, man. They've been yeah, that's suffering. tough. You make back-to-back World Series, and then it's a, like, your, your team still it's supposed to be good, and then you just – it's bad luck. Yeah. Bad, bad luck. Like, yeah, it's, it's a shame. Wazoo. Yeah. 
But they're another team that it wouldn't really surprise me if they were around 500. Yeah. Just, be, just because just... of how good they were. I know. And it's a lot of the but same guys. Though, it's not like they're young guys either that are getting well, hurt. Yeah, the young guys aren't getting hurt. You, you I mean, Darvish, man. That's, Darvish, that's, that's stinks. Killer. Giovanni Gallardo is their ace now. I like watching Darvish pitch, too. Yeah. Because he's good. He's filthy. He's he was great. so close to a no-hitter, like, three times. Yeah. Well, against Houston, he had, like, two outs in the ninth yeah. inning. Yeah, they hit it right back up the middle, right? Yeah. Between his legs? Yep. 76 and a half. Under. Me, too. I like him around 73 wins. And 72. All right. I like 73 wins. So this is mine. Well, how I like it. I like Angels, Mariners, A's, Astros, Rangers. Okay, I got Mariners, Angels, A's, Astros, Rangers. We're the same. You just hate the A's more than I do. Yes. A lot more. Yes. All right, let's go to the National League. Um, You have the Dodgers? I do. In the West, the do you think anyone? Um, I think. You have a wild card team left in the NL, too. I do. And I'm going with the Padres. Okay, let's let's save that for a second. Okay. Dodgers. Yes. They won. Let me see here. Give me a second. Ninety four games last year. Did they get better in the off season? Yeah. You think they did? Yeah. Howie Kendrick, Jimmy Rollins. Yeah, I I think they did too. And the, 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 the weird thing I mean, is, you. I, I, well, I'm really high on D Gordon, but if they're going for they it, they improved at second base. If they're going for it. They did the right thing. Yeah. They're trying to win now. And they added pieces that they thought were going to help. And I think that's uh, what you got to do to win. Yeah, it's weird. You trade not arguably your best hitter, Matt Kemp, to yeah. a division rival. and But I think they got better. I think they got better, too. And, of course, with Kershaw and Grinky. Right, you can't go wrong with the top of their rotation. Of course, Hyunjin Ryu is hurt. Yeah. He's going to start the season on the DL. But McCarthy, McCarthy's been good. Yeah, Brandon good, McCarthy, really Brett Anderson. Who's going to be the number five until Ryu gets back? That I don't know. That's something we'll... I have no idea. I'll look into that. That's something we'll have to, they'll have to figure out, but I love Howie Kendrick. I think he's so underrated. He has been, always. Even he's with the just Angels. a really consistent hitter, and that's what, that's what the Dodgers wanted. Jimmy Rollins, we talked about it in our fantasy show. He's going to get some steals. I think all his numbers are going to go up from last year. Yeah, Yeah, I think they're all going to go up. And Rollins was always good playing in L.A. Like, even when he would go play there. Uh, He likes the spotlight. He does. How about what he said? What did he say? Um, Philly isn't conducive to... It's conducive to... Yeah, they're not... Superstar is not a good place for superstars. I don't believe that. Well, he's just... Whatever. Uh, Yeah. But they opened the door for Jock Peterson to come in and play center, who is supposed to be the next big thing. So yeah, I Third think outfield. The, you like Crawford? When healthy. Yeah. He's pretty good. He's been good I mean, when healthy. Crawford Peterson. He used to be great when healthy. Oh yeah. But recently well, he's been he good. Was awful with the Red Sox, but besides that one year. I mean yeah, in Tampa. Oh yeah, he was so good. So you got Crawford, Peterson, Puig in the Puig. outfield. Adrian Gonzalez is so Adrian consistent. Gonzalez I think he's gonna I'm not gonna say he's gonna win MVP. He's gonna contend. Top top three. Okay. I could say it. But Just because I think he, he's, he gets overlooked a lot, but I think he's going to hit around 300, drive in over 100 runs for a team that's going to win the division. Yeah. And I think win the division rather convincingly. I mean, man, just like listening to their – just saying these names. This is a good lineup. Like, And you got I'm the just, best pitcher in baseball. Gonzalez, Howie Kendrick, Jimmy Rollins, Juan Uribe, Monty Grandal, Crawford, Peterson, Puig. Right. Kershaw, Greinke at the top. Ryu, three when healthy. Bullpen's good. They're going to be good. They're going to score, and they are not going to let teams score. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're going to win that division. They are. So you, but you have the Padres as a wild card. I do have the Padres as a wild card, and right. as you know, I love the Padres. You love that outfield. I love. I love Will Myers. I'm not going to go too much into my thing. If you want to see why I don't like the Padres, check out SolonsOfSwing.com. I just wrote a piece. Uh, yeah. I don't think they're a playoff team this year. I do. Yeah. I like them a lot. But, yeah, they're my they're my wild card for the NL. So you think they did enough in the offseason? Definitely. Got a whole new outfield. I mean, Matt Kemp is good. Yeah. He's good. Justin Upton's the best one, I think. I would take Upton over Kemp. Would you? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't. No way. Really? No. I would. I think he's got more pop. He's um, And he's going to hit you. 
high 200s, 280s, 270s, right? That's not high 200s, but you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Kemp's not going to do much better average wise. Nah, Kemp could easily hit 300. He could be 300. When was the last time he hit 300? Hit, let me look. Did he hit 300 last year? No, he hit 287 last year. Yeah. He's going to be up there, though. Last time he hit 300 was. 2013, probably? 12. 2012. 303. Yeah. Maybe not. He's only hit 300 three times in his career. That's not bad. No, but I mean, he was 297, 270 in 2013. He was hurt all that year, though. He only played in 73 games. Yeah. But, um. There's another guy with injury problems. And what do you, what did you say? 75 home runs for this outfield? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we talked about that in our f- first show. Yeah, it was our first. <laughs> Justin Upton hasn't hit the last two years, 2014, 270, 2013, 263. Okay. But the years before that in Arizona, 280, 289, 273, 300. Yeah, I think he's more of a 280 guy. Uh, I, I think he's going to hit more doubles this year in that ballpark. Oh, yeah. It's, it's Probably fewer home ballpark. runs and more doubles. Yeah, I mean, he hit 29 home runs last year. Yeah, he's not. I hold it like twenty five to. Yeah, I mean his power numbers: twenty nine, twenty seven, seventeen, thirty one, seventeen, twenty six, fifteen. Yeah, that's consistent. Yeah, he's a power guy. Yes, he is. But is my problem with the Padres is their infield. I think it's horrendous. Jed Jerko, poor guy. I can't. I, you I, hate him. I hate Jed Jerko. <laughs> uh, why? Because he what do you hate so much. Because he hate, barely hit over the Mendoza line last year. Oh, that just bothers me. Same with Melvin Upton. Mel, yeah, what Melvin. bothers me more? His bad, not hit, barely hitting over the Mendoza line, or his new name? Who, Melvin? Yeah. Well, his old name bothered me, too. <laughs> Boss Man Jr.? <laughs> BJ um, Upton? But no. Um, yeah, maybe he'll hit 250. Two, uh, maybe he'll hit 230. No, James, he's got a new name. James Shields, Andrew Kasher, Tyson Ross, Inc. Kennedy and Brandon Morrow. That was a good rotation. That's a good rotation. The top three I like. Ken- Kennedy, Benoit. I'm not crazy about. I like Benoit in the bullpen. Do you? I don't. No? He's old. Yeah, hey, he's old, but he's not. And big. he's not a proven closer. We'll see. I don't like their bullpen. Yonder Alonso. Will Middlebrooks. I really like that pickup. I think he's due to have a good year. He was he's another guy. He, he, he hit under 200 last year. Yeah, but. Yeah. Let's see. He hit last year. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> uh, all... yeah, Mid- Middlebrooks is not. He's not. Um, he he's not going to keep that job. Jan Hervis Solarte is going to take that job from him. I'm calling it right now. He's got power, though. Middlebrooks. Oh, yeah, he definitely In does. 2013, he played 94 games. He hit 17 home runs. 2012, 75 games. He hit 15 home runs. Right. He's got pop. All right, let's do the over under for the Dodgers and do we do it for the Dodgers? No, no. Let's no. do it for the Dodgers and Padres and Giants, and then, well, real we quick about the Giants. Giants. They um, yeah, obviously they won the World Series last year, yep. but it's an odd number year, so they're not going to win it this year. No, they're not. Of course not. Uh, I think they're going to finish ahead of the Padres actually. Just I like I like their, I think they're balanced, uh, and I don't think the Padres are as balanced as the Giants are. I don't think the Padres are quite ready. It's going to be close between those two for second place. Yeah. In, my, in my mind, I have them one game apart. Let's do the over-unders. I'll let you know. All right. Uh, Padres, 84 and a half. Did we do Dodgers yet? We'll just do it. Do, do we'll it again. I don't think we did. 92 and a half. I have 93. Yeah, I have like 95. Uh, Padres, 84 and a half. I have 83. I have like I like 87 wins for the Padres, 88 wins. Giants, 83 and a half. I have 84. I like right around 83. I'm going to go a little under. And just do the Rockies and Diamondbacks. They're both awful. Uh, they're both 71 and a half. 70 for the Rockies, 69 for the Diamondbacks. I like them both under, too. I don't think they're going to be good. Real quick, Either does Kyle Kendrick set a major league record this year? For most home runs most given home up? Most home runs given up? Oh, no doubt. Opening day starter no for the Colorado doubt. Rockies. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Rockies. <laughs> Kyle Kendrick. They don't know what they're getting into. the opening day oh starter for the Colorado Rockies. They don't know what they're getting into. He... Oh my. I've never seen a guy struggle as much as him in the first inning in my life. <laughs> it's it's amazing. He's so bad. He's a sinker ball pitcher. I don't get pitcher, it. It was the first inning. Bombs like it's his job. He's so bad. My dad always said. <laughs> <laughs> my dad always said he's their opening day starter. <laughs> my dad always said he should be, come out of the bullpen, and I agree with that because the guy could pitch for an inning or two, but 
God, he was, he's horrible. I'm well, he, sorry. Uh, it's, Rock man, it it's stinks nice. for Colorado. They're never going to get any pitchers to come there. they got to grow their own pitchers. Or they don't have a chance. even when they were good, they didn't it was have their offense. Because their lineup was great. Oh, yeah, they were really good. That's crazy, though. I'm sorry, Rockies. So, to recap... Actually, no, let's not recap. Yeah, recap. Tell them our playoff teams. Okay, yeah, because we're going to do... division winners. We're going to we'll do, do uh, a, ALCS, NL, yeah, we'll do NLCS, World Series picks. All right, let's recap it real quick. Me, Tim, that is I. <laughs> Na- in the National League, Nationals, Cardinals, Dodgers, Wild Cards, Marlins, Reds. American League, Red Sox, Tigers, Mariners, Wild Card, White Sox, Angels. Frank. National League, division winners, Marlins, Cardinals, Dodgers, Wild Card, Nationals, Padres, American League, Red Sox, Tigers, Angels, Angels, I almost said Angels, Angels, Wild Card, Mariners, A's. Okay. You want to get this started with your ALCS? Yeah. I'm going Angels, Red Sox in the ALCS. Angels, Red Sox. Angels, Red Sox. I think Boston's going to be really good this year. Who's your ALCS? My ALCS will be Tigers, Mariners. Tigers, Mariners. Yes. We oh, have like, four different teams. I don't in our like ALCS. the. I don't like the uh, Tigers like you do. Then you're not gonna like my World Series. They're going to the World Series. I have the Tigers beating the Mariners in the ALCS. See? Yeah. And I've said this before. I don't like any team in the American League. I think the three best teams in baseball in the National League. I'm sticking by that. But I got to pick one. Yeah. And the Tigers have a good rotation and a deep lineup. I have the Los Angeles Angels going to the World Series. Okay. I Angels. They got the best team in baseball last year. Best team in baseball, yeah. But their their time's got to be soon. Cause they're Trout's got to get there. Oh, yeah. He's getting them there. Right. Everybody's jumping on Trout's back. <laughs> Taking Trout to the series. Yeah. I like Trout a lot. As uh, everybody obviously. else does. Yeah. Um, NLCS, who you got? NLCS, Dodgers, Cardinals. Good pick. Dodgers, Cardinals, yes. Okay, and I have Dodgers, Nationals. <laughs> Nationals winning. Oh, my gosh. Best rotation in baseball. They're going to win the division. <laughs> we'll funny. see about that. Yeah, the Nationals. So, my World Series, Nationals versus Tigers. Your World Series is? Dodgers, Angels. Ooh, the L.A. I LA matchup, LA. Dodgers, Angels. Okay, and who wins it? Who's your World Series pick? My World you heard Series it here first. 2015 World Series champion is the Los Angeles Dodgers. Yes. Dodgers. I think the Dodgers are going to win the World Series. Got my Dodgers shirt on. I just think they improved so much. Their rotation's insane. Kershaw's insane. I just Best team money can buy? In baseball right now, yeah. yeah. No doubt. All right, well... I'm going with the National League team, obviously, based on what I've said. Nationals over the Tigers oh in the World gosh. Series. Um, You're jumping on that Nationals band. Their rotation like is so good. They're better than last year, man. They are. Yeah, their rotation's better. And their lineup's just as good. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. All right. Zimmerman can replace LaRoche. I got no worries about that. If he's healthy, he can replace LaRoche. Easy. And when he's not healthy, because he's not going to be healthy. You don't happens? know that. Yes, I do, because he can't stay healthy. Oh, yeah, Kevin Franzen can replace Adam LaRoche. Yeah. I didn't say that. I said Ryan Zimmerman can. Yeah, he's not going to be healthy. They have the best rotation in baseball. They got a good lineup, good bullpen. It's their year. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's not. It's their, how great would a Nationals Angels World Series be? Harper Trout. The media would eat that up. Or even a, could you imagine a Dodgers uh, Nationals? That would be a good NLCS, too. Just a pitching matchup. <laughs> you can't go wrong be there. insane. Kershaw and whoever the Nationals number one is at the time. Strasburg's opening day starter, so yeah. we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, but things change. They People do. People get hurt. They do. All right, so we got our World Series picks. Right. Um, our draft starts in a half hour. It's already 7.30. Yeah, so wow. let's wrap this up. All right, yeah. So opening day, opening night is Sunday. Cardinals-Cubs, oh. Easter Sunday. Opening day, everyone else is Monday. Yes. Phillies play the Red Sox. That's our, you know, our hometown team. For those of you who don't yes. know, that's the Phils. Can't wait. Probably we're gonna most likely be at that game. I will not be. Oh, you won't. I I will tell you 
why after the show. Oh, okay. I'm no. going to be there. Not everyone needs to know. <laughs> Frank will be there taking pictures on our Instagram account. Yes. Our Twitter, letting everyone know what's up. Yeah, I'll tell you where my seats are because I know everyone's going to want their autograph on there. Yeah. Keep posting on our Twitter account, uh, at Soul in the Swing, no I in Swing, because we will be finding a way to give away those Trenton Thunder tickets. Soon. Soon. Yes. Um, congratulations again to Davis Naff, our jersey winner. We're giving away a Pirates hat tonight. Eight o'clock, that ends. Yes. That's a half hour, too? Yeah. Everything's happening at eight A lot o'clock. of retweets on that one, so people are excited about that. Yeah. All right, that's it. I'm Tim Stokel. Frank Shallow. Thanks for listening, guys. Deuces.